Welcome back to Puppet Review Stuff. Now today, I was originally supposed to be reviewing Trolls World Tour. That was the original plan, but a lot of things came up and I don't have time to re um, edit the video, so sorry about that guys. I thought this would be, this video I'll make you right now will be a lot easier for me, especially with all the stuff I have to do today. I wanted to at least do three reviews this week, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this video out. So yeah, anyways guys, today I'm going to be showing off my Star Wars DVD collection. Now, a lot of you might think I do hate Star Wars just because of all the complaining I've been doing lately, especially for the Rise of Skywalker. Mm, that 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 movie, that, that just pisses me off. I can't defend it anymore, but we're not going to talk about that movie because I talked about it enough. 50 minutes and of course that DVD review I just recently did of the um, Rise of Skywalker. I did all that. Yeah. The movie sucks. And Last Jedi. I mean, I sort of like that film, but there's a lot of questionable things they do with that film. So honestly, they kind of ruined Star Wars. The only thing that's good right now is The Mandalorian or The Baby Yoda Show. So yeah, and I, let's do, I do like Star Wars The Clone Wars. I have been keeping up with the show. I have watched um, the recent episode that came out today, which was um, The Phantom Menace or The Padawan Menace. I don't remember the hell it was called, but it was some menace thing. Phantom Menace. I don't know. I don't know, but it was really good. I'm really, really looking forward to see what they do with Star Wars the last couple of episodes, because it's really good. Well, I really do not like the Ahsoka part. Well, not, not, not the stuff they're doing right now, but the Ahsoka and the sisters. I was like, ugh. I, like, I didn't watch Star Wars The Clone Wars to see like Ahsoka wrapped up in some kind of smuggling sister type of, or, little story. I didn't care about that. I cared about the action, which was the Bad Bunch, and what's happening now with Dark Maul. I wanted that. I didn't want some goddamn sister drama, but yeah. Anyways, so yeah, we're just going to start this um this video, and um I'm I'm still waiting on Farkle, so yeah, Farkle, have you got all the duties? I'm coming, jeez. Oh dear God, how am I supposed to get all this stuff to Puppet? Uh, he's already using Magic Mystic Hand, so I can't use the hands. So, oh dear God, this would be so much easier if Derek was here. Ugh, but okay, let's try something. Uh, I guess I can use my mouth. I think it's working. I think it's working. Ugh, this would go a lot faster if he was still here. But he's not, and I don't like him anymore. So screw that guy. They're so heavy. They're so heavy. I wish I control these arms. Eh. 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 Ah! Ah, that was... That was a lot of work. What do you mean it was a lot of work? It was just a couple of DVDs. It's a lot of work! It was heavy! But this body can't sustain that much weight! Ugh. She should have got someone else to do it. I have no one else. You do. Shut up. Do not speak of his name. Ah, uh, whatever, guys. Let's go ahead and start the review. So, roll the clip. Okay guys, so the first one we're going to show off is the let Okay, that, that's a little embarrassing, but here we go guys. We have the Target exclusive version of Star Wars The Force Awakens. So, this is the Target exclusive. Um, it's really skinny too, so if you look at it, it's a lot different. Um, I kind of do regret getting this just because it looks weird on my shelf and I kind of just want a regular Blu-ray. Because it just, it looks weird on my shelf and it, like, it's bigger than the others, it's just... It kind of just does not match with all the other Star Wars Blu-rays I have, but it's fine, it's fine, it's different, so, I mean, I'm a Star Wars fan, so I kind of wanted to get a different version, so, I mean, it looks cool, it has all the pictures and stuff, so, yeah, um, this is a fine movie, I enjoy this, this movie still holds up for me personally, I did rewatch it a little recently, so, I still like this, even though it's the, um, the beginning of the end, <laughs> the one that killed Star Wars, I mean, you personally didn't, but, you know, the movie's leading up to it. Yeah, screw that. Okay, next one we have here is the last Star Wars. I mean, the the the, the last rise is. Okay, let me calm down. The Last Jedi, Star Wars: The Last Jedi. This is this is this film. Controversial. I like the art style though. I like the cover. I like everything they're doing with this Blu-ray. Not the movie itself though. Not completely the Blu-ray itself, but I like the cover. As a movie, I say it's a good film. But as a Star Wars movie, it's not that good. There's a lot of elements I like in this movie. There's a lot of elements like the space horses that I hate. So yeah, this is okay. This is this is fine. Okay, this is fine. 
I really don't understand why they just, like, stopped making DVDs for the Star Wars and Marvel movies. I never understood that. Does anyone know why? Like, for the Disney and Pixar ones, sure, they can add DVD, but they just have to make a Blu-ray version. I, I never understood why they did this. Just a Blu-ray version. I never understood why. Sure, I don't need the DVD version, but I just want to understand why they stopped doing it. I, it doesn't really make sense, but whatever. Let it, let's get rid of this shit, okay? Let, let's go on to the next one, which is... Oh boy, here it is. The Rise of Poop Walker. No, sorry, sorry. The Rise of Palpatine. No, sorry, sorry. The Rise, the End of Star Wars. What? Okay, that doesn't even make sense. The Rise of Skywalker. It's really just the end of Skywalker. I mean, come on, they all die. And then Rey calls herself, I'm Rey Skywalker. Who the cares? Who cares? Why are you calling yourself Ray Skywalker? If family doesn't ma matter to you, because that was the lesson, family doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you come from. Then why don't you just call yourself Ray Palpatine if it doesn't matter? But apparently it does matter because you won't say your name is Ray Palpatine. Whatever. I hate this movie. This movie sucks. This ruined Star Wars for me. This ruined Star Wars. Screw you. Screw you. It's a fine cover. I like the cover, though. I can't complain about that. The cover, actually, this is kind of boring, but I like the cover. I like the blue, the red. I like all that. They did a good job with that. Nothing else. Just get, get out of my sight. Ah, here's a movie I actually like. Rogue One. This was actually probably the best one they created. Well, the Disney versions, of course. But, yeah, I like Rogue One. It was a nice story. I love the cover of this. I love, like, the glaring of it. Yeah, there's a lot of good things to say about this one. I have nothing really bad to tell um, to, to tell about this one. I don't know why I keep stuttering, but whatever. It's Star Wars. Um, I like this. really like this film. Still, um, this one comes with a DVD. Why can't the other ones come with a DVD? I, I don't understand. I, I, I really don't. I don't understand why none of them can come with a DVD. But this one could. This one could. This is not real Star Wars? I don't know. I don't know. This was a good film. like this one. Nothing else really to say. Next one up here is a kind of a different version of Star Wars. Lego Star Wars. The Padawan Menace. I own this. I bought this as a kid. Um, it's, it's fine. It's funny, I guess. It's only like 30 minutes. There's a couple of shorts in here. Um, I watched this a lot. It's kind of died down for me. Um, I was, like, when I was a kid, I thought this was amazing that, like, Lego Star Wars existed in a TV special. Now, as time's gone on, I'm like, eh, this is okay. This is not really worth buying anything. This is, this is just fine. I just kept it on these years because, why do I still have this? Eh, I, I'm a still sucker for Lego, so, that's why. Alright, the next one we have here is, I don't know why I'm so excited. It's just Star Wars The Phantom Menace. Episode 1! Of disaster, this exists. This this exists. I mean, I mean, as a kid, I thought these were amazing. But as I get older, I realize, kill Jar Jar. Jar Jar is just the the death of me. I do like the the Darth Maul stuff. I love the Darth Maul stuff. That that's pretty cool. And it's just weird that an older woman is hitting on a child, though. I I've never really. Um, I mean, I don't think she's. I think she's a teenager, but still, she she's like, Pad Padme's like hitting on a child. Like, that's just, does anyone really question that? That's just weird. It, isn't that weird? No? Am I, am I the one that thinks that weird? Okay, I, I guess I'm the weirdo. But anyways, yeah, pod racing. This is pod racing. Okay, you know, we're, we're putting this down. The next one we have here is Attack of the Clones, baby! Why am I so excited? Um, this was, there was a lot of good stuff in here. Maybe not the dialogue, or maybe the characters. But there's still some good stuff, um, like, um, um, Yoda. He's not a puppet anymore, but the Yoda, I guess. Um, um, this was fine. Okay, I like, I like the, um, this is even kind of a boring cover, but it's a Star Wars cover, so it's, it's, I really can't say anything positive about the prequels. I mean, I like the new movies a lot more than the prequels, but, ugh, man. This is actually one movie I do like, and I think you all can guess what it is. The Revenge of the Sith. This is actually the one I like. This is the only one I like, and I think most people can agree this is the best Star Wars um, prequel. Um, there's a lot of good stuff about this one. I really, really enjoy this. Like, this cover is like probably the best one of all the prequels. This is the best cover. Okay, so here's the back of it. Yeah, the backs are always kind of boring, but yeah, I have these. Um, I don't have these on Blu-ray, of course. I just have the DVD version, so yeah. 
Yeah. I bought these on sale. They're like ten dollars each, so that, that's kind of why I bought them. And of course, the next one we have here is it's a big boy. Ugh, yes, Star Wars: The Original Trilogy. Now this this is amazing. This is something I love. I love the original trilogy. You should love the original trilogy. Love this stuff. I have every single one of them in a big boy pack. I don't remember where I got this from. I think a friend gave this to me, and I just never gave it back to him. So I guess he let me keep it. But yeah, all the movies are in here. So yeah, this is in my collection. It exists. Um, can't really say anything else about the movies. They're just great. I just love these movies. Now we're moving on to the... Okay, they fell a little bit. Let me push these back. Um, the next one we have here is Star Wars Rebels. I like this show. I like this. Um, maybe not the first season per se. I think it gets really better in the second season and third season. I have not watched the fourth season though. I have not. Even though I'm already spoiled, I know how it ends. But yeah, I do like this show. The show's really good. It gets better as it goes on. So I would recommend giving this a try if you like Star Wars and you're just tired of the original show. So yeah, feels like the original um, trilogy. I like this. This is a nice change of pace. So yeah, Star Wars Rebels. Next one we have here is, of course, Star Wars Rebels Season 2. This is pretty good as well. This gets better as Darth Vader. I mean, he doesn't really do anything. And of course, we know he's not going to die because this is a prequel. And, of course, Ahsoka's in it. Ahsoka, baby! Ahsoka Tano! Looks like the world's obsessed with Ahsoka Tano. Disney's obsessed with Ahsoka Tano because she's getting her own TV show and a whole bunch of other shows. She's going to be like the Mandalorian and a connected universe. Why? Why? Why do we need this much Ahsoka Tano? It's like with, when the, um, when DC got obsessed with Harley Quinn, they decided to put Harley Quinn in a whole bunch of stuff. This is what I feel like now. But like this season, re really recommend it. Really great stuff. Like the cover of this. Really, really dark. Love, love this. Next one we have here is, of course, I feel like you should guess it, Star Wars Rebels Season 3. I actually got this at um, a Nooks and Books. Uh, Nooks, actually, I forgot. Barnes and Noble? No, I, I forgot. It's like a trading place for books and DVDs. I forgot what it's called. Um, oh, five of them? I don't remember. I got this for $7, and it, it was a new version of it, a brand new one. The slipcover was still nice. It was still wrapped up for $7. You gotta be kidding! This recently released, and I got it for seven dollars. I don't know who the hell sold this for that cheap, but I was like, "Damn, that's a that's a that's a steal! That's a steal! I bought this." Yeah, I haven't finished it though. Um, not finished it. I've only watched this one. I've not. I've only finished um, Star Wars Rebels up to season two, so that's kind of that's me. Um, yeah. Next one here is I hope you should guess Star Wars: The Rise of the Resistance. Wait, what? Um, no, it's actually just called Star Wars Resistance. I don't know why it's called The Rise of the Resistance. Um, oh, I guess I'm just getting confused with The Ride, but yeah. I actually not watch this because this, the art style, um, I just don't like it. But I heard there's some good things from it, but it's still just like, just looks more like a kid's show. I mean, I guess you could say Star Wars Rebels is a kid's show, but not really. It's just like, it's a little bit more mature than that. It just seems like a little bit more goofier than everything. But I, I, think, I heard it's fine, so I, I'll give it a shot at some point. And it's probably sometime during this quarantine. So yeah, okay, cover. I bought this, and I'm not. I'm not like one of the only people that actually reviewed the thing. And there is something that's very important in that review as well. Next one we have here is actually pretty important. Star Wars: The Lost Mission, The Clone Wars. I forgot the Clone Wars part. Sorry about that. Um, yes, yeah, Star Wars: The Clone Wars. Um, the Secret Files. So yes. I own this. This is technically season six of Star Wars The Clone Wars. I don't know why they call it the Lost Missions. Why not just call it season six? And this is when Disney took over Star Wars. So yeah, this is one of the first things that Disney released. So that's cool. Um, yeah, I've not actually, I've actually watched a couple of episodes. I've not watched all of them. I watched the Yoda arc and I think a couple of other things. So not everything I've watched here. The next one we have here is, oh dear God. Oh, oh this is, this is gonna be a pain. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ah, 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 this is gonna strain my fluffy back. Here we go, guys. Mm. Star Wars: The Clone Wars seasons one to five. Oh, I, I, this is this is a heavy bitch right here. This is this is a giant set they released a couple years ago. It uh, contains seasons one to five. I bought this on um, Walmart for about a hundred, well, not a hundred dollars, like forty-five dollars. So yeah, pretty worth buy. It is every episode except the, the lost missions, of course. But yeah, I bought this. This is awesome. Love this thing. Love it. And I love that Cad Bane's on the cover. At least he's my favorite character. Ugh, this is heavy. This is super heavy, but yeah, this is awesome. It has all the villains on the back. I reviewed this a little while back, so yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, 
Oh shit. Oh that 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 hurt. That hurt a lot. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, anyways guys, that that was my collection. So what you guys think? Um how big is your collection? Tell me down in the comments below. What is your collection like? Are you missing any Star Wars collection? Did you like this video? So comment down below. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you all next time. Bye everybody.